Hello, and guess what day it is? I've got my, oh, that made a loud noise. I got my Tamed Wild box. I actually got my Tamed Wild box like a couple days before Thanksgiving, but with the kids being home for five days straight, um, this is the first opportunity I've had to get in here. So let's do a witchy unboxing for Tamed Wild. If you're new to the channel, my name is Melissa and I do witchy unboxing videos as well as Metaphysical Monday. Every Monday we talk about a metaphysical topic. Um, playlist is in the description below if you want to check that out. Also random tarot readings throughout the month. And I'm going to be doing a new moon pick a card. Um, I'm going to film it right after this and I'm going to post it like Thursday, maybe Thursday, maybe Friday. If the new moon is on Saturday. So I got to grab my scissors. Let's get in there. So if you're unfamiliar with Tamed Wild, they come in the like postal bag thing. Let me cover my address. Um, so if you're in the witchy broom closet, um, nobody would be the wiser. And their return address just says Tamed Wild. So um, that could be like anything. All right. Let's tell them it's dog food or something. I don't know. Let's open her up. Do, 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 do. Right. And then inside this plain white bag is a very pretty box. That's probably the image you're going to see on the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, for some reason, they're always like really tight in there. Okay. I can't remember what the theme is. I'm sure I got the email and I'm sure I read it, but you know, it's been crazy. Oh, I see tins. Okay. Gaia's Apothecary. Okay, now I remember. Um, Gaia, the goddess of earth, is a divine presence in all that we do on this planet. In myth, she is considered to be the mother of all and is known and called upon for her creative power and life-giving force. Okay, lots of other info on Gaia. And then, so this does have... This does have ritual directions. So we will come back to that once we've um, finished our unboxing. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. This says what's in there. If you want to pause to see what's coming, I'm going to show you, but, um, if you want to pause to screenshot info on the things in the box. All right. Do, 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 do. Calendula skin sap. I actually was considering making some of this. So I'm super excited. Um, but the tin is a little banged up, a little dinged, but you know, not nothing I can handle you know like it's I don't know maybe because there's um some essential oil maybe it like banged in there in the box but it does twist off it smells like calendula it kind of smells like tea tree oil let me see what's in it contains calendula oil which is olive oil canola oil sunflower oil whole calendula flowers beeswax Tea tree essential oil and vitamin E oil apply topically to the skin. So those are the instructions. Um, but yeah, uh, so I was watching, there's a, a lady on TikTok that does um, herbal like information videos. So I was watching one of those and she was making calendula oil to make a salve with later. And I was like, I should do that. Cause it's going to, it takes a long time the way she was doing it. Like you infuse it in a jar of oil for weeks. Um, so I don't have to now. So that's awesome. But, um, it says cut scrapes and burns. You can literally use that for any kind of skin situation. As long as you don't have any allergies. Um, if you, I think it might be, oh, there's a few that are in like the dandelion family. So if you have like an allergy to ragweed or, or something like that, you may want to do some research first. You should always do research first. Um, next is another tin of herbal steam. A traditional uses clearing sinus during cold and flu and allergy season. All right. It feels like loose herbs. Okay. This one doesn't twist. This one just pops off. We have loose herbs. It's very minty, but it smells more like peppermint. Spearmint. Let's see what's in it. 
we have herbal steam contains eucalyptus leaves stinging nettle peppermint wintergreen that's what i was smelling was the wintergreen wintergreen essential oil directions place a tablespoon of herbs in a bowl add boiling water place a towel over the head and the bowl to create a tent and breathe deeply for five to ten minutes add leftover water and herb into a bath so um yeah so you could do like a facial steam like you would do like a facial steam for your sinuses um it's not super strong smelling it's not so i don't feel like it's like going to be overpowering or burn your eyes or anything like that it's very softly minty so yeah i do like that and i think that would be a good bath so yeah um pro tip i guess for putting loose herbs in your bath stick them in a bag like i get these these come from our other box that i bought unbox every month from hearth wisdom store they come in the full moon box um for whatever purpose you deem necessary based on the ritual in information and items in that box um but i have like a ton of these you can get um tea bags like reusable tea bags that are made out of muslin cloth um on like amazon fairly inexpensively i think i got a pack of five maybe ten i don't remember it was a while ago for under ten dollars um so they're they're fairly inexpensive put your herbs in this it'll save you it'll save you um or you can get one of those cool little like basket things that you stick in the drain um yeah those don't always work just saying and then i already mentioned our essential oil this is tea tree oil which I have a ton of. So this will probably go into like a giveaway box for, I don't know, like 3,000 followers. I think we're at like 21. All right. Um, Ancient Herbs Poultice Blend contains comfrey and arnica. I like arnica for um, pain relief. So it's a poultice blend, which, let's see, does it have? Yes, it does. Pol poultices are blends of healing herbs that can be crushed, moistened, and applied topically to wounds, aches, pains. Also known as battlefield medicine, poultices were used in historical wars to treat soldiers on the battlefield. Do not apply to broken skin. So this looks like our tea bags, like that we usually get our tea in from them. Um, so you can see... Uh, this is not a tea. This is not to be consumed. This is a topical loose leaf um, blend. So you like, like it says in the instructions, you get it wet and you put it on the skin. Um, you can see that like happen in a lot of movies. I've seen that happen in a lot of movies. Um, I'm like the the first thing that comes to my mind is not like a macerated herb um but it's from the hunger games when katniss gets stung by the whatever like not murder hornets but whatever they're called um i can't remember and uh and what is her name rue like tends to her um until she wakes up rue puts leaves on her wounds it's kind of like that and then this is our last item it's like a little medicine bag hold on is there something in there it's a little like zippered like first aid like it has a little first aid cross like our herbal medicine bag this might get used for something else i'm just saying no it's just the fabric from the uh the corners oh it's double lined it's lined so you have this and you have a lining in here that's cool i like it when there's a little double protection in there so yeah we can put our little herbal blends in here let's see do they all fit No, the, the, this bag does not fit in here, but the other two fit. The other two fit just fine. So there you go. And then you can keep this under your under your bathroom sink or whatever for wherever you store first aid or witchy first aid. So let's see what the card has to say, because it does say something about a ritual. Um, doo -doo -doo. To begin the ritual, first prepare your apothecary altar. To do this, add anything from around your home that carries meaning for you, a stone, rose petals, a candle, feather, etc., together on a table. Um, table, shelf, on the floor, on your mantle. Um, this is the beginning of your altar. So it looks like this is to like um, make an altar for Gaia. 
Uh, if you're looking for inspiration, you can build your altar, or in general, you can build your art altar to correspond to the elements and the four directions. For example, a feather can be symbolic of air in the east, a flame can be symbolic of fire in the south, a small bowl of water can be symbolic of water in the west, and a bit of rose petals can be symbolic for earth in the north. Um, next, leave an offering of a crystal, a note to Gaia, or something sacred to you. Um, as you prepare your altar, rub a little bit of La Luna, La Luna, yeah, La Luna essential oil onto your wrists or another resonant place on your body, third eye, temples, etc. Place the herbal steam, calendula, salve, tea tree oil, and the poultice blend on the altar to bless the herbs before using them as part of your apothecary. Finally, place your wild medicine bag on the altar to consecrate the bag as a magical tool. That's a good idea. I probably wouldn't have thought to have these items blessed, to be honest with you. So I love that Tamed Wild includes these cards um, with like steps, um, as opposed to our other box that we get for the full moon, which I'll be doing in a couple of weeks. They already sent it to me. They're on top of it. Um, so they usually just send ideas and supplies that you may need that or they may need or may want to use. Um, a lot of the times I don't use all of the items in that box, but it's nice that they include them. They can be used for something else. Um, so theirs is more, um, theirs is more whatever you're feeling, whatever resonates for you. This, these are the topics that this full moon kind of work with. Um, and here are some supplies that you may want to work with. Um, have fun. Uh, but this one, I like that it's very beginner friendly um, or somebody like me who doesn't stick to routines or or rituals um, very well. Uh, I'm self-diagnosed ADHD. I don't know. I'm starting to lean towards possibly the autistic spectrum because TikTok, thanks. Um, but yeah, so I like that it gives you like step by step because then it's something to follow along with. And like for someone like me who doesn't always uh, like want to make out all of the steps and, and follow them, like this is very helpful or for beginner friendly. So um, I like this idea. So where did I leave off? Um, okay. So when the altar is finished, sit or stand in front of your newly created sacred space and give thanks to Gaia. Imagine Gaia's grand apothecary, the hills, the valleys, the forest, the desert, the, the hearth, the home, and all the things, all the beings that share plant earth with you. Um, think about all that Gaia has blessed you with on your own magical journey while imagining Gaia herself present with you at the altar and call on your plant allies, the plants that have guided you throughout your life and say these words, Gaia, thank you for all you have shared this earth, our home for which I care gratitude, your bounty. This is true. My thanks I offer up to you. When the incantation is finished, take a moment to feel the blessings wash over you and all of the beings who are open to receiving them. Then you may remove your wild medicine bag from the altar as it's been consecrated as a magical tool on your altar. Uh, as you walk through Gaia's apothecary as a green witch, you use this bag to hold your sacred plant medicines and herbal allies with you when you have gathered with you, which Oh well, my gosh, with which you have gathered with intention and goodwill. So um, that's our whole box. Um, it seems like there's less items, but I feel like the value of the items, Calendula Stav is, um, if you were to buy that separately, it's it can be pretty pricey because like I said before, it does take a while when you make it that way, when you make it the you know, the proper way, the witchy way, um, it does take a long time. Um, and there is a lot that kind of goes into that. So, um, I think still worth it. Um, this is, like I said, one of my favorite boxes. I love that it gives you a step-by-step, -step, um, ritual that you can choose to do, or you could just throw these items in your medicine cabinet to be used and you don't have to do the ritual. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let's go over the items really quick to make sure that I got it all correct. I think I did. Everything was labeled. Um, La Luna, rising it's in like a cool font and i'm struggling with that um rising essential oil what is it? tea tree essential okay so i don't know that's the brand i'm guessing um so yes rising essential oil tea tree oil and it gives you a little bit more about tea tree oil 
Um, Tamed Wild Calendula Sav um, connects with the power of this sunny plant. Calendula is uh, beloved as a topical herb. It's known traditionally as supportive for healing injuries, burns, bruises, and dry skin, to name a few. Like the blossoms of Calendula, its petals can offer us the generous brightness of blessed days. Keep Calendula in your pocket when you're trying to stay on the sunny side of life and allow its energy to move stagnated move stagnated flow. Lore has it that if you cast a handful of Calendula across your bed, you will be safe and protected. It was also said that Calendula would offer prophetic dreams. So another one to add to your dream list. Um, we have another video on that. Um, the wild medicine bag. Uh, Self-explanatory. The herbal steam uh, or herbal steams are used in many healing traditions. This herbal steam has the power to soothe your sinuses and gently care for your skin through the cold winter months. Ow, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> winter months. Our house blended eucalyptus combined with nettle and peppermint leaves are designed to help clear your head. While wintergreen essential oil is known to aid in clarifying uh as well as soothing inflamed sinuses. Combine the herbal steam with steaming water, and then it gives the instructions over again. The poultice blend. Herbal poultices are an ancient healing tradition. Tradition. Poultices are made from blends of plants, herbs, and other healing ingredients, then are blended into a paste-like consistency for application. An herbal poultice can either be contained and applied through a warm, wet cloth. Okay, kind of like this picture here or you can apply it directly to the skin. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Or, or applied directly onto the body for the treatment. Herbal poultices are perfect to keep on hand for herbal first aid when bumps, bruises, and inflammation happen. So you can, you know, put it in the bag, get it wet, and then tie off the bag and, you know, kind of stamp it um, if you don't want to put the herb directly on your skin. So that's what's in the bag. Um, bag box anyways <laughs> thank you so much for joining me i look forward to the next video as always have a blessed day and always remember that the magic you seek is within you